Hi, I'm Lisa, and I chose to study Shari Mahal. She was forced into slavery, which is a type of human trafficking, by her own parents. This is where her journey begins. She was born on September 29, 1989, and was sold into slavery at age 8 for four years. She was a slave two years in Cairo, Egypt, and two years in Irvine, California. She liked to refer to her captors as the mom and the dad, and their names are right here. Uh, she liked to refer to them as that because their names were rather long and hard to pronounce. After she was illegally taken to the United States from Egypt to continue servitude, she slept in a tiny windowless storage room that had no lights in the family's three-car garage. The lights on my board represent how she always keeps a light on at night to keep from bad memories of her time in the claustrophobic windowless storage room. <coughs> She was rescued April 9, 2002, <clears throat> and after a lot of therapy sessions, she finally pursued the case of the mom and the dad, and the judge sent the parents to jail, and she was given $76,137, equivalent to the number of hours that she would have worked in the United States. Um, she uh, was put into three foster homes before she was finally adopted. She only wanted to be adopted because um, this was the first step to becoming a citizenship, a uh, citizen. <laughs> and uh, she really wanted more than anything to become a citizen because it was something that she finally had of her own. Uh, she graduated high school on June 6, 2008. This was a huge achievement because at the same time she was learning English. She finally became a U.S. citizen on December 15, 2011, and after she became more confident, she started giving speeches and wrote this book, Hidden Girl, The True Story of a Modern Day Child Slave, uh, so she could spread the word that human trafficking still happens today. She wanted to focus her career on law enforcement, uh, even though she was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, which is right there, uh, during her sophomore year. That didn't stop her though because she volunteered as a police explorer until she was age until she was the age of 21. Um, I wanted to read this book because uh, I wanted to see how she dealt with being a slave, and I didn't know that much about human trafficking. Yes, I do recommend this book because it tells the story of how a young girl who knew close to nothing grew up into a strong woman who could hold her own almost anywhere. Any questions? Um, why was it her parents that took her into slavery, I guess? Is, I think that's what you use as slavery, kind of. 